What's up? I got some cool shit for you today. We're playing Modern, by the way, if you couldn't tell from the uh, fact we're on MTGO in the thumbnail. We are playing a mix between Wizards and Fairies. I think the Fairies are just like by happenstance. I'll kind of go through the deck. The whole deck is based around Flame of Anor. This is from this weekend's preliminary for anyone who didn't catch it. And uh, the whole deck seems to want to cast Flame of Anor for both sides while maintaining a tempo advantage over the game. And I think we're just killing with combat damage. There's no man lands in the uh, mana base or anything. 19 land deck. We're doing expressive iteration, lightning bolt, Ragavan spell pierce uh, counter spell so it's kind of like Murktide but the rest of the deck here's here's a weird one sleep cursed fairy it's a 3-3 three, three for one mana with flying and that's where all the good tech stops no sorry I suppose it has ward 2 as well it enters the battlefield tapped with three stun counters and a stun counter says anytime the creature would try to untap I'll remove a stun counter from it instead and then for two mana you can untap it but the astute of you have already realized that this is a wizard as is the where is spell starter sprite spell starter sprite is also a wizard and so is snapcaster mage so it's just like is it tempo based around Flame of Anor, low land count, so we've got some Lorian Revealed, and the sideboard is filled with good sideboard spells. There's a couple weird ones. I guess the only one that stands out as really weird to me is the Anol, which is just counter target artifact or enchantment spell, but it kind of makes sense. I think Tron is still seeing some plays, so at the very least, you can bring it in in that matchup. You can probably also bring it in versus Hardened Scales. Other than that, it's just like, dude, it's, is it tempo? I don't know. Let's go ahead and hop into a league. All right, found our first opponent, and we get to be on the play. Love to see it. Let's check this hand out. We got Flooded Strand Island as our lands. We can lead on Ragavan, back it up with a counter spell. Spell pier this hand's great. This is like a this is like one of the better Merc tight hands you can draw. So we're just gonna keep it based on that. We're gonna open on very simple Flooded Strand, fetch. We're gonna grab a steam vents, shock that bad boy into play, and we're gonna do the Ragavan nut check. Can you beat this? And then F6. Urza's Tower? Ooh, we got a dismember, dude. Yeah, they got the dismember. You hate to see it. All right, it looks like we're playing against Tron. We're really happy to have the subtlety in our hand if that's the matchup. Uh, we draw another spell pierce. Uh, hopefully we can convert one of these early. We're just going to play an island and pass the turn, though. Um, ideally, they go to play like a uh, exploration, not exploration, expedition map, something. Relic of Progenitus, perfect. I'm just going to take this opportunity to spell pierce. Our opponents, unfortunately, two thirds of Tron. Did they naturally keep seven? I think they did. All right, they're passing to us. Great. Come on, land. No land? All right, let's do it. Expressive iteration, do not fail me. Iteration, show me any land. Damn it. So we're gonna miss the land. We really need to use this subtlety to stop them from playing whatever the hell they're gonna play this turn. I think the highest upside card for me might just be the Ragavan. I don't wanna show them the spell stutter sprite, so we'll exile the burst lightning. So we're gonna put Ragavan into our hand. We're gonna bottom the spell stutter sprite and we'll exile the burst lightning. We miss on land, which is a bummer, but at least we have the subtlety. Pass to you. So close to greatness. Is that natural Tron? I fucking hate you right now, buddy. All right, Karn liberated. At the very least, we get to exile Spell Pierce to subtlety that Karn. All right, boom, get out of here. If we top deck a land, we're gonna be in pretty good shape because we can dash our Ragavan. That's gonna get the Karn liberated off the top because they did put it back on top and we'll be able to counter spell another spell that they try to put on the stack. So that's what we're angling for. Land, please, come on, it's a Spell Snare. Card that certainly comes out in the matchup. Um, I think we're gonna vibe with Ragavan. Alternatively, we could uh, we could dash it and just like hope they've got nothing reasonable in their hand. I think that's unhinged and stupid. We're gonna pass the turn. If they don't do anything meaningful, we'll flash in Snapcaster Mage to set up Flame of Anor. Things we want out of our sideboard: Magus of the Moon and Blood Moon. They're very good against Tron. For anyone who, for some reason, doesn't know that, you know that. You knew that, right? Yeah, you did. Dr. Pepper Zero, you are my hero. Basic forest, okay. You can make colored mana. Tap for four, is this the one ring? The one ring, get out of here with that. Counterspell, another one ring? Car and liberated rats. Okay, this is going so poorly, very sad. All right, minus probably grab another one ring, right? No, Tormod's Crypt, sure. I'm actually not super duper stressing the crypt right now, to be honest. Hmm, another Ragavan. I feel like we've got a dash Ragavan and hit Karn. That might sound crazy, but we do not need them minus in Karn to get the ring back. We can't counter it. So here we go. Red, blue, Ragavan, dash. Go to combat, attack the Karn. So all they can do is plus it. Bring it to one and then pass. All right, let's see what they can do. Oh, right. They had the Karn liberated because I subtleteed it. You know what? We're going to go to the next game. We just got absolutely wrecked, completely ranched. Um, but we do have cards for the matchup. Now let's bring in Blood Moon, another Blood Moon, Megas of the Moon. I could see Ragavan being important for tempo reasons. Um, Stern Scolding 
Don't think so. No fluster storm. Definitely a null. No furies. No ees. I don't think we want stone. So these are the five cards we're looking at. The one I'm the least confident in is Ragavan number four. But I think on the play, that's just an effect we're looking for. We don't want burst lightning. I know that. We don't want spell snare. Pierce is also going to expire a little bit too quickly. Let's go through all of our options. We want Ragavan. Bolt is iffy. Maybe we just trim a couple bolts. Spell Pierce is rough, but I think Bolt being able to be flashed back by the Snapcaster Mage is big game. Um, we don't want to cut Spell Stutter Sprite, I don't think. It's just a flash, flash threat that gives us two sides of Flame of Anor. Yeah, I think it just might be two Spell Pierce. Unfortunately, if we cut our Spell Pierce, our opening on Ragavan gets a little worse. I guess we could like sandbag Ragavan, hold up Spell Pierce. No, I think Spell Pierce has just like two corner Casey. Maybe just one and one lightning bolt. No, we're gonna we're gonna commit to taking our spell pierces out and we will just play all of these All right submit. I would love to play first. Thank you All right, let's see here. We've got a five lander with a sprite and an expressive iteration Ah mulligan All right, this one has two lands only blue sources. We can lead on sleep cursed fairy. We've got a pitch cast subtlety We got to get pretty lucky there's a good chance we just need to ship this as well. Um, what do we? If we keep this hand, we probably ship the bolt. Then we play Sleep Cursed Fairy. Hopefully, can subtlety something, and then we're just at the mercy of the top of our deck, and we don't have a red source. So, like, if we just never draw it, and this is a 19 land deck, so there's 17 lands left in our deck plus two Larian Revealeds. I think this might be a five. Like, this is tough, but I think it's a five. The subtlety is the only thing causing me to. Think about keeping it. No, I think we can go to five. Mulligan. All right, this hand is a one lander with a Larian revealed. A uh, couple Sleep Curse Fairies, Snapcaster Mage, Sprite. All right, we're going to keep this. We're going to pitch the Spell Stutter Sprite in addition to one of our Sleep Cursed Fairies, I think. Try this out. Yeah, let's try this out. We'll play Steam Vents. We'll shock it into play. Tap for blue. Play Sleep Curse Fairy. Pass the turn. Well, we would do that if our opponent didn't have full control on. What can you do right now? We're in turn zero for you. Let this resolve. All right, you're up, dude. Urs is mine into a chromatic sphere. Sure, F6. All right, we draw a counterspell. That's not going to be good just yet, but at some point it might be. For now, we're just going to island cycle this Larian revealed and grab a basic island to play around our own blood moons, which we're hoping to draw into. We'll play the island and F6. I don't like that our Tron opponent kept seven twice. That just seems strictly unfair. Crack Chromatic Sphere, add green into, what's the name of that green card that lets you dig five deep? Ancient Stirrings, that's probably what they're doing here. Power Plant, tap two, Sylvan Scrying, ugh. Walking Ballista, sure. Yeah, I don't care about that right now. All right, my turn. Great, Snapcaster Mage, not the best draw because the Ballista can just pick it off. But we've got a counter spell, so we'll just hold that up for a little bit. In two turns, our Sleep Curse Fairy will on tap, which isn't like crazy good, but we mold the five, so we needed to develop some type of a clock. All right, that's not Tron, that's a forest. That's pretty great. Tap for three for an O Stone. We can counter the O Stone, but I think we're gonna hold our counter for something else and we can blow it up with Flame of a Nor. I'm just gonna let this resolve. All right, you're gonna go to combat, attack me for one. No attack, sure. I'm gonna activate this to on tap it. Now I actually get to attack with it this turn. Flooded Strand, phenomenal. Um, let's go ahead and go to combat, attack them for three, and then they didn't have Tron this turn, so I don't think I'm gonna blow up their Oblivion Stone right away. If they play a Tron land and it becomes active, I guess that just sucks. But I need to hold this counter spell up, so we'll just pass the turn. Tap for one, Relic of Progenitus, sure, that's fine. Tap for another one, crack the Relic, perfect. That's good with me. Ooh, they don't have Tron. Did Tron keep a loose keep? Remember, you're, you are you don't have to mulligan. You get to mulligan in Magic the Gathering. Tron players that keep seven should just like, if you don't have Tron and you're opening seven, you should probably mulligan the seven. I think if this Tron player respected mulliganing a little bit more, we'd be dead to rights because our five was like fine at best. But now we get to fetch. We'll get an island because I am going to keep respecting my own blood moons. And then I'm going to go blue. As soon as I get priority back, I'm going to go blue, blue, red. Blow up O Stone and draw two cards. Flame of an Ore, cast, target player draws two, destroy target artifact. All right, I am target player, this is target artifact. Boom, Spire Bluff Canal, worst land possible, but I'll still take it. Island, mm, there's nothing to flash back, so I guess I'm cool just like playing a Spire Bluff Canal. That way I have five mana next turn. Go to combat, attack for three. 
beep, beep, bring you to 14 and then just pass the turn. Seems good. I've got three Snapcasters, so we're flashing back Flame of Venor at some point. Ancient Stirrings, I think I'm just going to let that go. I'm not going to counterspell the Stirrings. They find the tower because, of course. And they play the One Ring? I don't think so. Counterspell the One Ring. Are we going to dismember my Sleep Cursed Fairy? Sure. All right, pay two. You got it, dude. All right, attack me for one, I have to assume. I'm at 16. All right, I draw a counterspell? Why am I in my second main phase? I clicked one too aggressively. All right, here is a an island. I, hold, I have counterspell, plus I can play Snapcaster counterspell. So now we just need to like weather the storm and hope they don't draw some giant Eldrazi to completely blow us out. That would be the worst case scenario. Worm Coil, not a chance. Tap for two blue, play Snapcaster Mage. Snapcaster Mage targets Counterspell, and then Ballista hits the Snapcaster, that's fine. Okay, and now I would like to Counterspell, target Worm Coil, tap like this, please don't have a, oops, not like that, like this, and hopefully they don't have Veil of Summer. They don't. The One Ring, Karn Liberated, sure, dude. Absolutely, yuck. What are we getting with the Minus, I wonder? They grab Tormod's Crypt, sure. Luckily, I still have a Counterspell on my, my hand, so that's good. All right, we'll play Flooded Strand. I guess we can just hold our mana up for now. If they go to Crypt Us, we can like flashback Flame of Anor in response. But this game looks, it looks pretty grim. Our opponent has gotten very, very lucky and we have Mulligan to five. Very sad. Chromatic Sphere, sure. All right, minus the Karn after making mana off of the Sphere, sure. Worm Coil Engine again, why not? All right, Worm Coil, Flash and Snapcaster Mage. I'm gonna try to get them to pop their Crypt now. Ooh, I forgot the counter spell was already spent, but they're going to pop their crypt now, which is perfect. Um, exile target player's graveyard. Okay. Snapcaster's trigger resolves. And now I will counter spell the worm coil engine. And if they don't have anything else, attempt to take out the car with snappy. All right. Looks like they're passing. Fetch at your end step. I don't need another island. I'm cool getting a steam vents here. Putting it into play tapped. Go to my turn. There's like a non-zero chance I could have flashed in Snapcaster Mage, but I love having this counter spell up. So we'll just go to combat. I guess we can just attack them the first time, right? Because what are they going to tick up on with their Karn? Nothing that I care about. Let me see. If I attack them for two now, they go to eight, flash in Snapcaster, and then they're on a two-turn clock. Or I attack the Karn and kill it, and then they're going to be on a three-turn clock for my Snapcasters. I can eliminate a draw step by attacking them first, but I have to get lucky. I don't know what's better. Hmm. I think I'm gonna play really conservatively and just kill the Karn. Or try to anyway. Dead Karn. I'm not gonna sandbag this polluted delta. I'm just gonna play it and pass. Karn liberated. All right, here comes blue, blue, Snapcaster Mage. Hit the counter spell with Karn on the stack. Cast counter spell, targeting Karn. Blue, blue. Please be out of gas, opponent. I can't handle anything else. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. All right, Karn the Great Creator. What are they gonna go get, I wonder? Maybe they need like ensnaring bridge now? Haywire might, sure. Okay, what I, I would give anything to draw Flame of Anor right now. Please, please deck. Or Expressive Iteration would be fine too. Um, I guess we'll take the last Steam Vents, put it in tapped. There's so few lands left in my deck. Please just don't be a land. Pretty please? Oh my God, I fucking hate you. Okay. <laughs> Polluted Delta. I think we need to pressure the Karn. Go to combat. Attack Karn with both creatures. They probably take a block with Haywire Might. Karn goes to one. Cool. Neat. Opponent, I need you to not have something for just a second. We've seen one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Once I crack this polluted delta 12 lands, leaving five in my deck. Okay, we in theory shouldn't be drawing very many more lands, but we'll see how that works out for us. Come on, opponent, do the thing. Just draw bad lands. Don't drop a bomb on my head right now. Sylvan Scrying? Sure, I wonder what they want. Urza Saga? That makes a shitload of sense. Worm Coil Engine? Did they just draw that? I'm angry. I'm so angry right now. Looks like we're taking a round one loss to Tron. All right, they're going to pass to us. I'm going to fetch. I'm going to grab my last fetchable. Island? All right, there's five lands left in my deck. Let's not do this. Lightning Bolt. <laughs> I can bolt the Karn. Um, I guess we'll just do that, but I don't see a way out of this. I'll give it like one more draw step, but I'm, I'm, uh, I'm seeing the writing on the walls here. This worm coil engine has my number. Hate to see it. All right. No blocks, dude. Worm coil can smack me. All right. We draw a flooded strand. I'm conceding the game. That's a round one loss. Ugh. you know, variance is a thing. Sometimes you be drawing all your lands. 
That felt personal. Let's get into round two. All right, round two, we win the die roll again. Redemption arc, hopefully. This opener looks bad. It's a one lander with nothing to do but bolt. Unfortunate mulligan, hate to see it. All right, this one has four lands, Spell Stutter Sprite, Iteration, Snapcaster Mage. We really want to convert the Spell Stutter Sprite into something meaningful, but I think it's a keep. Um, I think the ship here might just be Steam Vent. Yeah, do I want the shuffle effect? I'm not really doing Darcy things. Maybe the polluted Delta is just unnecessary. Do we care about, I don't think we're playing on Holy Heat, so I don't think we actually care about Delirium. Yeah, we'll pitch the polluted Delta and then we'll just play a tapped Steam Vents and pass. Inspiring Vantage, is it burn time? Yeah, that's a Rift Bolt. All right, Rift Bolt costs three, so I can't spell stutter sprite that. <laughs> MTGO thought sees bug, bottom polluted delta, draw polluted delta. We'll just drop a spire bluff canal, pass the turn. With any luck, maybe we can convert this spell stutter sprite. We'll see. Because Rift Bolt costs three, so that's not gonna do it. Ouch, I take three. It hurts. Rude opponent. Sunbait King and pass, sure. I'm not gonna flash in spell stutter sprite. I just to get the uh the wizard in play. I don't want to get blown out by uh Searing Blaze. Larian revealed. Is this the turn I just cast Iteration? It might be. Maybe I need to hold up Spell Stutter for one more turn. That could be decent. Let's just play Polluted Delta and like be super chill. Burn plays a bunch of one drops, so with any luck, I can uh, I can do it. I can get them. Oh, they're just gonna crack Sunbait Canyon. Great. Arid Mesa, sure. Pass to me for free. All right, I'll crack this at their end step. We'll grab a uh, tap land. Steam Vents. We actually might cast this Larian Revealed. I'm not gonna cycle it. Yeah, we're just drawing lands. Um, here I could see just casting iteration. Yeah, this might be the turn I want to do that. Let's go red, blue, expressive. Um, yeah, we find Ragavan and two lands. What do we do here? I think we put the Ragavan into our hand for sure. I think we bottom the polluted delta and exile the island, just play the island. And then we just pass the turn. All right, go. Mountain, tap one, monastery swift spear. Can you counter creatures? You can. All right, we try it. Spell Stutter Sprite. Now I think a trick my opponent can do is kill the Spell Stutter Sprite with the trigger on the stack. I think. All right, they bolt it, but that means their Swiss Spear doesn't get, that means they've bolted a Spell Stutter Sprite and they don't get prowess, which is great. All right, you got it. Swiss Spear is in play. Now what, fetch for a mountain? Sure. Lava Spike me, you got it. Attack me for two, so I go to 11. Boo. Gross and unfortunate. I kind of feel like I'm about to dash a Ragavan, depending on what I draw. We draw Burst Lightning. That kills Monastery Swift Spear. Let's start by getting in with the Ragavan, because they're tapped out. So dash, and then we'll head to combat and just schwang. Ooh, take two. Hopefully I can get a Lightning Helix. That would be like the best get off of the Ragavan. All right, trigger the Ragavan. It's a Goblin Guide. I can cast that. I think I'm supposed to. Um, let's go ahead and tap for red. Play Goblin Guide. Ooh, wait, we're in damage. <laughs> we'll go to our second main phase, then we'll tap for red, play the Goblin Guide, and then we don't have a counter spell anyway. Um, I guess we can just get this Spire Bluff Canal out of our hand, and then tap for red and burst lightning this while they can't trigger prowess. Boop. And then I get Ragavan back in my hand, meaning they can't like kill it while I'm not looking. Pass turn. Another land. Glad it's another land. Honestly, every land in their hand is not a spell, and spells hurt me. Boros Charm, I'll take four. Pass to me. All right, draw counter spell, probably the best possible. We'll go island, tap for blue and red. I'm dashing this Ragavan. We're going to race land. All right, go to combat, attack with monkey and goblin. Beep, beep. I'm on the mill plan now. We're gonna mill our opponent. All right, Monastery Swiss Spear is gonna be their draw. So I can cast that off my Ragavan, which is hilarious. They could fetch if they wanted to protect it, but it looks like they don't do that. Okay, great for me. Now I can cast the Swift Spear, or I can hold up Counterspell, Counterspell. Um, I think holding up Counterspell, Counterspell actually might be more valuable. How we do that is cast Counterspell, Snapcaster, Counterspell. And I think we're at seven, so I need to just have as much permission as possible, so we're just gonna pass. To my hand, monkey. They fetch, sure. Key, your turn. Play a land. Show me you don't have enough burn spells to kill me. Just passing back. Looks like we're just on the dash Ragavan plan. All right, my turn. Another land, because why not? If we play 19 lands, we'll draw a land every turn anyway. All right, dash Ragavan. Go to combat, attack with all my creatures. Trigger the Goblin Guide. Goblin Guide revealed the reveal, Goblin Guide revealed the revealed card zone. Goblin Guide entered the revealed card zone. I think I'll play that. 
because I can still hold up six mana. I guess we're kind of getting paid off for just drawing a ton of lands. All right, uh, main phase two, tap for red, play another goblin guide. All right, go. I think our opponent's just like dead now. We can attack for six next turn, then snapcast or burst lightning them. Oh, is it up Boros Charm? Please stop. All right, I'll take my Ragavan back. You're up. Remember, even in 2023, even in October of 2023, Ragavan wins games of Magic the Gathering. So does your opponent flooding out. All right, they play a land. Looks like they're just passing to us. All right, come on, Ragavan. Hit me a burn spell off the top. All right, another Snapcaster. Great. Blue, red, dash Ragavan. Every turn, light clockwork. Attack with all my creatures. All right, trigger a couple goblin guides. Uh, they get, there's a skull crack on top right now, so they have to fetch. Otherwise, I'll get the skull crack and skull crack them. They fetch here. Go to seven. Tap sacred foundry. There's a Boros charm on top. Our opponent's just dead. Go to damage. They take six. They lightning bolt what? My Ragavan? Nah. We'll go blue, blue. Snapcaster mage. Uh, Snapcaster mage can target counterspell. Oh, we win game one. Okay, going to game two. What's good against burn? I think Flusterstorm's really good against burn. I don't think Anola is. Stern Scolding definitely has some play in the matchup. It counters every creature, but that's basically it. I could see it being okay-ish. We'll see what we have to take out. We don't want Anol. I don't think we want another Ragavan on the draw. We don't want any moon effects. I think Fury is like just not that great. Same thing with EE. We blow up more of our creatures in there, typically, and stone. So not much coming in. Um, two to four, maybe. What can come out? I like my burst lightnings. I just really want to kill their goblin guides. Um, spell snare counters half the spells in their deck. Spell pierce is still quite good. I think that subtlety might be like not that great, along with spell stutter sprite on the draw. I think I'm gonna forego stern scolding for now. I think I'm just gonna bring in a couple fluster storms for a couple subtleties. Just have like more permission, take less damage. Let's just do that. Boom, 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 submit. We're on the draw this time, so it'll be a little bit harder. All right, this opener has three pieces of permission and a sleep curse fairy. Please don't open on goblin guide. All right, just a rift bolt, F6. I'm not opening on sleep curse fairy. I'm going to play this Pobuda Delta and Spell Pierce, the, uh, the Rift Bolt, I think. Is that the play? Is that a play? Or do we just let it happen? Hmm. Hmm. Or do I just want to get a Sleep Curse Fairy out of my hand? Could be. Could be that I just want to jam Sleep Curse Fairy. It's really hard to pass up just Spell Piercing two damage away, because I have to hurt myself to get the island for the Spell Pierce. I can either shock or just fetch for an island and pierce the Rift Bolt, and that's still pretty good. Or I could get a Sleep Curse Fairy into play. I think I'm going to play to win, not to stay alive. So I'm going to be bold. I'll be very bold. I'm going to shock in the Steam Vents and just go to 15 off of the Rift Bolt. I'm going to get a Sleep Curse Fairy into play. Because in a couple turns, that thing's going to like brick wall a Goblin Guide. All right, I'm F6 and I can't stop your Rift Bolt. Skewer me? Sure, I'm at 12. Sacred Foundry, shock. Got another thing, another Rift Bolt. Okay, we draw Larian Revealed. We'll play Polluted Delta. Do we just want to counterspell a Rift Bolt? I think we might. Maybe we just let the Rift Bolt happen and just keep mana up for the rest of the game. I think so. We can probably go to nine. We'll just take this Rift Bolt to the face. Ouch, I'm at nine. What now? Bloodstained Mire Pass? Sure, I'm gonna fetch. You know what? Maybe I'm not gonna fetch. I can Spell Pierce most. I'm just gonna cycle this Larian Revealed. And if they put a Boros Charm on the stack, I'll fetch, go to eight, and I will Spell Pierce the Boros Charm or Skullcrack or whatever they cast. All right, Boros Charm, fetch. We'll grab Basic Island, tap it for blue, Spell Pierce the Boros Charm. They fetch, sure, but what do they want to do? Just bolt us to five? That's fine. Yeah, I, I go to five. Come on, Sleep Curse Fairy, you got to do all the work. We'll grab Island, go to my turn. A Spell Snare, pretty great. We'll play Island. I think we will put another Sleep Curse Fairy into play, and then we're just going to pass. Rift Bolt enters the exile zone. We actually have to counterspell that, but that's fine. As tempting as it is to untap a Sleep Curse Fairy here, I think I need to hold my mana up. So we'll just untap. Starting next turn, we can start getting busy with the fairies, or one of the fairies. Skullcrack me. All right, here is a blue. Here is a spell snare on the Skullcrack. All right, Burst Lightning. We're going to be really chill. I do want to counterspell that Rift Bolt coming out of exile. All right. Okay, blue, blue, get out of here. Two mana for a Sanctifier? Sure. It's got pro red, so I'll have to leave one of these Sanctifiers back on blocking duty. You got it. A Lightning Bolt. Um, let's just cast Expressive Iteration. Red and blue iteration. Um, we'll take Flusterstorm into our hand. We'll bottom Flusterstorm. We'll exile the canal. We'll play the canal. And we unfortunately are on blocking duty with this Sleep Curse Fairy. Go ahead, opponent. I think I have to point this burn damage at our opponent's face. Boros Charm? Well, we can flush. No, we can spell pierce that. 
Spell pierce the Boros charm. No, thank you. All right, you can't attack me. My turn. All right, Polluted Delta. We can kick this burst lightning now. Seems kind of good. Let's go ahead and just get busy for three. Bring you to 14. Maybe they'll mess up and attack with the Sanctifier because they don't understand that I can untap my Sleep Curse Fairies. That would be the life. I hope they mess that up. Please don't play Roiling Vortex. Or I guess do. I can probably win that race, right? Go to combat. No attacks? Sure. Will we fetch? No, I don't want to get Boros Charmed. We'll just untap. Take a draw. It's Snapcaster. That's great. Go to combat. Attack with both. For six. I got you on a three turn clock. But really, it's a two turn clock because of the burn spells in my hand. I like where I'm at. Go ahead. They redraw the Sunbait King and sure. All right, you can't attack me still. You're just dead, dude. All right, sick. I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna stagger my spells. Bolt you. You're just dead. GG. All right, sweet. Game two win. Beat the crap out of burn. Not sure how that matchup's supposed to go, but it felt pretty good. The Sleep Curse Fairies just like don't care about Sanctifier. Let's get into round number three. Holy shit, did hell freeze over? We're going into round three with another die roll win. I don't win die rolls. This hand has a Ragavan and a Sleep Curse Fairy and a Lightning Bolt, and it's a little land heavy, but I'm just keeping it. I like Ragavan. But what if I open on Sleep Curse Fairy? What will they do? I'm doing it. They mulligan? Great. Yeah, I think I'll open on Sleep for Curse Fairy, and if they do like a tap land or something, I'll dash my Ragavan. And for anyone wondering why I'm leading on the Sleep Curse Fairy, there's kind of, it's multifaceted. Um, when you play the Sleep Curse Fairy, you get a wizard into play, making Flame of Anor good. If I were to lead on Ragavan and they had a bolt, they could kill the Ragavan, but the Sleep Curse Fairy has Ward 2. On top of that, it gives me a good curve. If I can draw Flame of Anor on the next two or three cards, Sleep Curse Fairy into Dash Ragavan into um, Flame of Anor for two, which, like two modes, which is quite good. But for now, we'll just go Flooded Strand, I think I care about my mana, so I'm going to start with the Steam Vents. We'll just shock that into play. Beep. Beep. Here's my buddy, Sleep Curse Fairy. He vibes. He's chilling. He's got wangs. Are you going to subtlety my Sleep Curse Fairy? Why are we? Why do people... Why won't you let my spell resolve? Okay, go. Can't kill this. It's a 3-3, baby. Black Cleave Cliffs? Okay. Black Cleave Cliffs into nothing. Dashing Ragavan could be risky here. Let's see what we draw. Another land? <sighs> kind of a tough sell. Might make sense to just untap the Sleep Curse Fairy. I think we're gonna try to go that route. I really don't want to expose my Ragavan to just a Fatal Pusher or a Bolt and tap out for it and let them just like drop an Orcish Bowmasters. We're just chilling. If they don't do anything with their turn, I'll take a counter off my fairy. Oh, opponent, t let me pass the turn. Ooh. Go, 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 go. This opponent takes their sweet time. Oh, well, it's their clock that's burning, I guess. Maybe they're making a video too. And they're talking about the uh, importance of burning down their clock to make their opponent think that they have something. All right, just a Black Cleave Cliffs. All right, here comes the taking off a counter from my Sleep Curse Fairy play. Very powerful and modern. Two mana, don't untap a creature. All right, here's an island. I care about Blood Moon. Um, we'll go blue, blue, activate. This will let them flash in a Bowmasters, but I can just bolt the Bowmasters. There's no huge sweat there. If they don't do that, great. My turn. All right, my Fairy can be on tap now. It's wonderful. I think I will not iteration. I've got so many lands to play anyway that I think I'm paid off for waiting. So we'll just play Polluted Delta and continue to do what my opponent's doing, which is nothing. Except for my nothing, my version of nothing has a 3-3 flyer in play, so we'll make our opponent make the first move. Hmm, literally just nothing. Okay, cool, good talk. Bloodstained Mire, we got a Spyro, we got a Fable. What are you gonna do? Pass to me? Nothing? All right, dude, I'm grabbing another island. Eh, they haven't Blood Mooned yet. I think I can go grab a uh, Steam Vents and get an island with a Blood uh, Polluted Delta. So, crack. Are you gonna let me get my land, dude? Yeah, steam vents. Taps. M my turn. All right, now I can attack you for three. Although I have done many damages to myself with my mana base. All right, here's a delta. I'm still not gonna cast the iteration yet. I'm gonna cast the iteration on turn five. Um, for a few reasons, it'll, uh, I can hold my Ottawara, so try to make my fifth land drop off the uh, iteration. And even if I miss, I can uptake a counter spell from it and be have it be castable. Which, since my opponent's not doing anything, I'm not under pressure to really take too much action yet. I'm gonna attack you for three. And I have a Sleep Curse Fairy in play, so if they cast Orcish Bowmasters, I can just cast Spell Stutter Sprite. And if they don't have their removal, it just works, which is great. All right, our opponent's at 17. You're up, dude. Fatal Push? 
I'll let you pay the word cost. Did they not know it had word two? They didn't even pay the word cost. I didn't have to use my spell stutter sprite. Imagine being as lucky as me. All right, they fetch. I really hope they play Boatmaster so I can just blow them out. They'll need to call a doctor. An ass doctor for their blown out sphincter. Tap for one. It's a Croxa. I could just let it go. What if I just let it go and pitch Ottawara? Yeah, I love still just having spells that are sprayed. I'm letting that go. Are they going to like feign death Croxa? I guess that is a thing you can do. I will hit OK. I'm going to discard this Ottawara. All right, you sacrifice Croxa. Great. Is that it? Was that your big play? Blood Crypt? Are you going to shock it? Yeah, you're big boy. Dash Ragavan? I guess I can just bolt that, right? Wait, nope, they're stupid. Go for it. Attack me. I think my opponent just like doesn't understand what's happening in this game. Attack me with the Ragavan. Beep. Great. Now I'm going to activate this. Uh-oh. Oopsie poopsie. Go to blocks. I think I'll block. Wow, we had the resources to deal with every player our opponents made, but they screwed up so bad that I didn't have to use a single resource, which is, I guess, great. Let's fetch for an island. A Blood Moon could still be a pain in the butt, but our deck's good at playing around Blood Moon. We actually play Blood Moon out of the sideboard. All right, my turn. I think I'm just going to dash Ragavan now. Yeah, I've got the land, so I can hold this iteration for even longer. We'll play the Flooded Strand. We'll go blue and red. Dash Ragavan. You're on a three turn clock. Combat, attack for five. Show me a fable off the top for my Ragavan. Damage. You're at nine. I get a treasure and we exile a lightning bolt. Oh, wow. For free. Lightning bolt your face, dude. Go to six. You go. Your turn. I'm done. Oh, what are you going to do, dude? What's your line? You can concede. That is a legal line. Thought sees me. What if you didn't? What if I just like fetched for an island, this island, and then I tapped two mana and flashed in spell stutter sprite? Hmm? And then I countered your thought sees. Now what? What's your best possible play? Season pyro? Still die? <laughs> Oh, they're just passing. They're going to make me use my clock to kill them. Sure, I'm still ahead on time. You're so dead, dude. Oh, you're going to pay costs now. Oh, orky bows. Yeah, that's fine. Take up my spell stutter sprite. See if I care. That's a very dead spell stutter sprite. You can't kill this sleep cursed fairy, so GG, I guess. Combat, attack for three. Beep, beep. All right, take the damage. Go to three. All right, here's a red mana. Take a bolt to the face so we can go to game two. Yay. All right, what's good against scam? Stone likely has some text. Stern Scolding, probably my best cyborg card in the matchup. Uh, Fluster Storm and Anal are both bad. EE is pretty medium. Uh, moon effects, no, they play Moon. Ragavan, not on the draw for sure. Fury, maybe. I could see Fury being like not the worst card in my deck. Uh, we can take out like wide boards that include Fable tokens, Spyro tokens, Ragavans, Orcish Bowmasters. Yeah, I'm kind of sold that Fury could be good. So these six look reasonable. What is bad? Are there spell pierces in my deck? I think there are. Get the hell out. I do not want spell pierce. I think spell snare is pretty reasonable. I like Ragavan well enough, but I don't want to lean too far. I think I can cut one Ragavan on the draw. And then spell stutter sprite seems fine. Ooh, I may not have enough to bring out to take all this stuff in. Maybe on the draw cutting, like maybe just all my Ragavans because they're a Bowmaster deck and I don't want to get blown out. That makes my sideboarding look way easier. Then I can cut like burst lightning as a one of potentially. Like this, what does my curve look like when I do that? I bring in these stones, which are one drops, these scoldings, which are one drops, these furies, which are like kind of low key zero drops a lot of the time, but do we have enough red cards to pitch to fury? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. For every one fury, there are 14 red cards that we could pitch. So roughly one in four cards is a pitch card to Fury. Maybe we want to get one of these red cards back into our deck. If we do, it's probably just an Burst Lightning because Burst Lightning can take out their Ragavans, which is really important actually. So yeah, let's keep the Burst Lightning so the Furies are a little bit better. And let's cut maybe a Spell Stutter Sprite isn't too bad to cut. Let's try that. They, they do die. They do just straight up die to the Bowmasters. There we go. We'll try that. All right, I'm on the draw. Hard mode activated. Please don't scam me. Oh, wait, never mind. I have a subtlety. Scam away, friend. I'm keeping. Yeah, I'm not sure it's one then. We'll draw it. Don't worry about the fact we're only 30% to draw a land. It's fine. Keep. <laughs> I'm keeping off the back of the power of subtlety and the potential of drawing a red card to Fury. This can fall apart, but the stone is also very good. And our opponent mulligan six. Yay.
If you Ragavan, I swear I'm just subtleteeing the Ragavan. Just a Blackleaf Cliffs. I'm not F6ing because some opponents have been doing something on main phase one and attempting to pass, and then when I F6, they main phase two do anything. All right, here's a Flooded Strand. I guess we'll just fetch and shock now. I want to get this stone into play. So we'll get a Steam Vents. Ouch. Uh, red Stone. Now you can't scam me, jerk. Now we just need to draw one land. Pass. Second land. Dash of Anne. Well, I'm exiling the Snapcaster Mage and hoping we draw land number two. For sure. No, thank you. Get that Ragavan out of here. Hopefully they don't have the read that we don't have our second land and they bottom it because they know if they keep it on top and I counterspell it, they've gone so tempo negative that they might not have a chance to win the game. If they put it on top and we don't draw land, uh-oh, <laughs> like big spook. Put it on the bottom. Okay, great. F6. Land. Land one time for the one time. <sighs> I'm a lucky piece of shit. There's a Spire Bluff Canal. Go. I've got two counter spells. Wow. I am cracked at magic. A swamp, sure. Play a spell. Nothing? Nothing. Well, I guess no deck likes doing nothing quite like a counter spell deck. Another land? Guys, I don't want to speak too soon, but I think I might be fucking cracked at magic. Go. They're going to continue to play draw go with me. I think I'm favored in that scenario as long as they're not holding just like raw heat in their hand. Flame of an ore? Mint. Very good draw. I gotta be careful. I don't want to just cast it haphazardly while they have open mana because I don't want to get bowmastered. They fetch probably for a swamp. They might be interested in Blood Moon. Although if they sided in Blood Moon, I would have a lot of questions. Well, not sided in, but if they didn't side it out, I think I would have some questions. Dothy Voidwalker, you're kind of cool. Um, hmm. I don't think we're burning a counter spell on that. Maybe we just flame it. Okay, Dothy's fine. I'm not going to counter that. Dash rags. I think we counterspell that, right? Do we counterspell a dash rag? Because then we have to deal with the Dothy right away because there's gonna the counterspell is going to go into exile with a void counter on it, meaning they're going to be able to use Dothy to counter my spells, and that sounds not great. I could Snapcaster and block the Ragavan. No, I think I got to counter this Ragavan and then just like kill the Voidwalker and hope they don't have anything reasonable, right? Yeah, counterspell, rags, land, shore. They got two in hand. All right, let's hope to get lucky here. We might pitch cast Fury onto Voidwalker. What do we draw, Ottawara? Well, there's a counter spell under that Voidwalker, but if they don't do anything, hmm. I think we're playing Ottawara as a land. We'll start there. If they just decide to not attack with Dothy Voidwalker, do I really give a shit? I think I'm just gonna pass. I hope I don't wind up regretting this, but I'm gonna let them have that Dothy. Because if they want to hold up Counterspell for the rest of the game, they can't turn it sideways. All right, they go to combat. Are we getting busy with Dothy? We are. I think I'm gonna let that go. Just take a quick three. And then they thought seize me? Yuck. Would I counter a thought seize here? I think I might. Yeah, let's just counter thought seize. Beep, boop. No, thank you. Please don't grief me. You didn't grief me. Great. Love to see it. Untap. It's a polluted delta. I can just hard cast my fury. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Fetch. Uh, that goes under the Dothy. Boo. Grab an island. Just cast fury. All right, fury, deal four damage to Dothy, please. That's all I got. Go. They fetch. Sure. The last two cards in my hand being Snapcaster, Flame of a Norse. Quite good. All right. They got three in hand. I would be delighted if they just played a land here. Looks like they're going to fury my fury, which is, all things considered, pretty okay. I can flame their fury and then have Snapcaster flame up. So sure, this is fine. All right, my turn. Polluted Delta, let's just flame now so there's no shenanigans. Cast five damage to target creature. Boom, get out of here. And then F6, another land, that's great. Okay, the card we're really playing around now is Orcish Bowmasters by a lot. So we might be holding the Snapcaster for a bit. All right, fetch. And a deck with 19 lands, fetching actually meaningfully like thins out your deck, I think. So we'll grab an island, just in case our opponent did leave in a Blood Moon or two, just because they didn't have enough to bring in. <sighs> Sometimes you just draw all your lands anyway. Steam Vents tapped, we're just gonna pass. Go, they're passing to us. How long can I just hold this Snapcaster? I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm ever just gonna jam it into Flame of Anor with them having this much mana open. Expressive iteration, phenomenal. Red, blue, expressive. Bowmaster doesn't do anything here. Wow. A couple sleep curse fairies and a flame of an ore. Let's take flame into my hand, exile one of the, or bottom that, exile this, tap for blue, play sleep curse fairy. I'm gonna win with this card. <laughs> All right, go. Fatal push the fairy. Um, sure. I'll let them pay the ward cost. Do I want a flame of an ore now? Uh, draw two. There's really nothing to deal five damage to. I don't think so. We're just gonna chill. Dead sleep curse fairy. All right, go. 
thought sees me? Ew, I guess we're drawn to. Are we? No, they can thought seize me, that's fine. These are both Flame of Venora effectively. You know, if they have two of them, that's where it becomes a problem. It might be time to pop this stone just to get a draw. Ultimately, does it make sense to do it right now? Nah, I think it's still got work to do. It'll hold back Croxa and Spyro and stuff for a little bit. I'm just gonna leave it in play. Go to our turn. Counterspell, actually phenomenal. All right, go. All right, what you got, dude? Nothing? Is this the point where I draw two cards? I think so. Blue, blue, red, Flame of an Ore cast. Draw two, target me. No Bowmaster? Wow. Do I just do it again then? Kind of seems like it. Red, Flame of an Ore cast. Draw two, target me. No Bowmasters. Holy shit. Well, this is easy mode. All right, red, blue, expressive iteration. Um, I'll take Stern Scolding to hand. I'll bottom the island. I'll exile Burst Lightning. Play Spire Bluff Canal, tap for a red burst lightning, just cast it, target my opponent for two, and then we'll just pass. Well, now we have too many resources to be afraid of anything, really. That's sure. Tap three, four for a grief. You know what you can cast against grief? Stern Scolding. No, thank you. Verdant Catacombs. That's sure. Blood Crypt, are we shocking? Pass to me. Great. All right, take a draw step. What do we get? Another land, hate to see it. Blue, red. Expressive. Again. All right, we'll take the subtlety into our hand. One, two, three, four, five. I, wow. We'll take the subtlety into our hand. Bottom the Flooded Strand. We'll exile the Lorien Revealed. We'll play Flooded Strand. We'll fetch, right? We're gonna grab another island. Boom. I'm gonna tap for one, two, three, four, five. Holding up Counterspell. I'm gonna draw three cards. Oh my God, they still don't have it. Great, go. All right, I'm gonna kill you with a combination of lightning bolts and spell stutter sprites. Two, Hitsugu consumes all? That's kind of stinky. Ultimately, I just don't think I care though. Yeah, that's fine. What does it do? Destroy my stone of Urkirk? Maybe I just pop my stone and use subtlety to stop whatever they're gonna do to try to blow me out. Yeah, yeah, let's just draw a card. How do you work? I'm gonna exile your graveyard. Two, draw spell snare, that resolves. It destroys nothing. All right, my turn. Pawuda Delta. Yeah, we're chilling. <laughs> Exile all graveyards. Oh no, my graveyard's gone. Looks like they're just gonna pass to us. Unironically, I'm flashing in subtlety as a beater. I also don't know if I have any more fetch targets. I'm not gonna find out. Four, cast subtlety. If they wanna bolt my subtlety, I'll spell stutter sprite the bolt. I win. All right, that was pretty easy. The scam player really didn't have very much going on and they didn't really seem to know what they were doing. So I'll, t I'll take the win. Let's get into round number four. I won die roll number four. Hell's actually frozen. You guys can commit. I'm not gonna say that on YouTube. Go do stuff that's legal. All right, this opener is spell stutter sprite, subtlety, counter spell, no one drops four lands. This ain't quite it, right? No, we got nothing to do on turn one. Our best play on turn two is Counterspell. If we manage to Spell Stutter Sprite something, that's great, but like, we don't even have a flame to follow it up. Let's just take a mulligan. All right, this hand is two lands, two flames, Lorian Revealed, Expressive Spell Pierce. I'm much more keen on this hand. I think we need to ship a Flame of Anor. Yeah, we'll ship a Flame of Anor. Boop. And we will lead on Spire Bluff Canal and hopefully Spell Pierce something. Not totally likely, but also not out of the realm of possibility. If we don't, we can cycle the Lorien Revealed. Pass. Bloodstained Mire. And pass. Rats. I was hoping they'd try to Fury Scam us, because that would be such a blowout. Just spell pierce the not dead after all. Rip. All right, Island Cycle Lorien. That's a Bloodstained Mire, so I'm willing... Wait, what is this? They have a Giganta, so this could be a couple of things. I think my brain's on either Jun Saga or some type of Death Shadow deck. All right, let's go grab... Neither of those are Blood Moon decks. I'm still going to grab a basic island off of this. Go to my turn. Snapcaster, fine pickup. We'll just drop an island and be really chill. Pass turn. They fetch. Go to 19. What's the land? Stomping ground. Hmm. Jund. I think I want to say it's Jund Saga, but they probably would have gotten Zia Torres, right? Blood Crypt. Is it time for Renin 6? Or is it a Tarmogoyf? Nothing. Okay, fine. Oh, they might want to bowmaster me. That would suck. All right, take a draw step. It's an island. I like it. We'll just play the island. We're going to chill out and pass the turn. Bowmaster. So we have to let that resolve. Maybe we destroy it with the flames. Is that right? We could have drawn two in response. I don't think that would have been very good. Maybe we just let it exist for a turn and then we'll kill it with flame at end step. I kind of like that. Go. That way, they, that way, if they have something like a fable or ren and six, we can deal with it. Yeah, this is 100% Jun Saga. This is a blood mood matchup if I've ever seen one. 
Also, it's a stern scolding matchup. All right, attack with bow and orc army. I'll take it. Just holding up mana till their end step so they can't sneak into Ren Insects is all. It's a Goyf. I wonder if maybe we kill the Goyf. That thing will kill us faster. Yeah, I think we're going to try to pop that Goyf, actually. All right, we'll go. They could have removal. There is also the line of just, like, Flash and Snapcaster right now. Play Flooded Strand, cast Flame, shoot Bowmasters and draw two. Although, I think things happen in order, so the Bowmaster is going to see me draw the cards. No, I think I'll just pop... The Bowmaster. No, I'll pop the Tarmogoyf now. Cast five damage. Hit the Goyf. Boom. All right, my turn. Take a draw step. We want to kill a Bowmaster pretty bad. Counterspell is great. We're going to go red, blue, and cast Iteration. Okay, Bolt kills Bowmaster. So we will exile that because we're casting it this turn. I think we have to. What do we want to take into our hand? Perhaps just another Snapcaster Mage, right? Yeah. So we'll put the Snapcaster in our hand. We'll exile. No, we'll bottom the Spell Stutter Sprite. We'll exile the Bolt. We'll play Flooded Strand, we'll fetch and shock, holding up Spell Pierce for something. I don't know if they're gonna play into it, but we'll see. Tap for red, bolt, target Bowmaster, and then that's it, go. Saga trigger two, you got it. I would be surprised if they didn't pivot to just making tokens here. That's gonna be real rough for us if that's the route they take. We're gonna have to take care of every single one of them little tokens. Verdant Cats, fetch, sure, swamp. Shadow Spear. I'm going to Spell Pierce this. And the reason that we're Spell Piercing this is that if they pay for it, they can't make a Saga token. And I think their Saga tokens are more important than the Shadow Spear itself. So we'll see what they do. They pay for it. So they're going to forego one of the uh, Saga tokens, which will let me Snapcaster blow up Shadow Spear draw two if they if they do it that way. If I draw a land, that is. All right. Nope. It just gets countered. Great. They see the writing on the walls. They need to make Saga tokens. Attack me for one. Boo. Yucky. Stinky. Icky. Ouch. All right. Pass to me. Great. Come on, land. Land off the top. I've been flooding out all day, but still, no. Um, I think we're going to bolt a Saga token with Snapcaster because it feels like we kind of have to. So we're going to pass, and the second they go to make the Saga token, we'll take a bolt. Alternatively, we could wait, I guess. We can still hold up Counterspell. Yeah, they can't. The Constructs will still be boltable. So maybe it makes sense to just take a quick three. Because off this Saga, they, I would imagine they just make a token, right? Yeah, they make a token. I wonder what they're going to go get. They could get some type of graveyard interaction, but they're tapping down low. So I'm going to go blue, blue, snap, because I don't want them to get like uh, some type of graveyard interaction with their Urza Saga. That would be pretty miserable for us. Snapcaster can target Lightning Bolt. And then I will say, OK, I'm now going to cast Bolt targeting the Construct. Beat, boot, bort, dead Construct. You're not going wide today. I wonder what they're going to get with the Urza Saga. Is it going to be Bobble? Is this version playing Mishra's research desk? What's going on? We've already seen the Shadow Spear. It's already in the graveyard. Soul Guide Lantern. Glad we did it that way. We're unfortunately about to lose our Flame of Anor, which is unfortunate. And then when they, if they pop their Soul Guide Lantern, our Snapcasters just get so much worse. But I still like that line. Pithing Needle. I wonder what they're going to name. It resolves. They're just going to try to make their construct a bit bigger. I say try. They're just going to make their construct a bit bigger. Scalding Tarn. Sure. All right, combat. I wonder if I block this 1-1 one -one with Snapcaster. I think I might. Yeah, I want to keep the board open, so if I draw a Ragavan, I can start to do work. So I'm going to take a trade. My turn. My turn. All right, come on, spell that kills Construct. I really need that. Or are you going to give me a land out of order? Pop the Soul Guide Lantern. Give me the opportunity to Snapcaster target Expressive Iteration? Sure. That seems bad. Snapcaster? Oh, wait, no, no, it's... The expressive iteration is not going to get exiled. It's just going to get flashback. That was stupid. We're going to target. We'll still target the expressive iteration. That way I can show my opponent why I made this dumb play. I was thinking, oh, no problem. No problem. Because Snapcaster Mage gives it flashback till the end of turn. But bye. Uh, luckily, it's fine. We've got a Snapcaster Mage in play. We've got two counter spells. So they've got four in hand, but we're hoping to fall back on these counter spells. And hopefully they can't make that construct big enough to attack through the Snapcaster Mage. Maybe things work out okay-ish. Learn, learn from that mistake. Don't do not do what I just did. Tap for red and green and red and six. Not a chance. Counterspell that shit. Are we going to attack me with your construct? Would I block this? Because I can draw Flame of Anor? I don't think so. I'll take two off this one. I'm feeling racy. All right, my turn. They're also missing land drops, which is expressive iteration for free. Oh, I've missed this card. I should do a Murktide League soon. Um, oof. I was hoping to hit a land here. None of these really work well in exile. I think I need to take Snapcaster Mage to my hand. I can Snapcaster flash back either Counterspell or Iteration. That's going to my hand. I guess we'll bot on the subtlety and exile the Spell Snare. I guess it's at least draw the best card from the top three. Is its fail state? Not the worst. Go to combat. 
Attack for two. And then pass to turn. Urza Saga. Hate to see it. Blood Moon's going to be really good in this matchup. All right, they're going to hit me for two. A proper race. Ouch. What if I, what if this is the point where like, say they don't have removal? Unlikely. But if they don't, what if this is the point where I just go wild and flash in Snapcaster Mage? Because right now, if I keep holding up Snapcaster Flashback Counterspell, or even if I Snapcaster Flashback Expressive Iteration, I can get blown out really easy. If I flash in Snapcaster, attack for four, they don't have removal. The next turn, they just make a construct and it gets worse for me. No, that's not good. I'll take a draw step. Fire Bluff Canal. I think I kind of got a flashback this iteration, dude. <sighs> Feels bad. But this, this saga is going to like win the game without them doing anything. So here's Snapcaster. Snapcaster target expressive. Go red, blue, flashback expressive iteration. Okay, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I was hoping to hit an untap land. Um, we'll take... What's the best thing to take to our hand? Should I just concede for time? I don't know if I can win from here. I guess we'll take Ragavan into our hand. Or maybe a blue card to pitch to subtlety. Yeah, seems unlikely Ragavan's getting any t anytime soon. We'll take in the Sleep Curse Fairy, bottom this, exile this, play Spire Bluff Canal, go to combat, attack for two, and then if they flash in Bowmaster, kill my summoning six Snapcaster, and then block this one, I will hit the concede button. That's not true, I'll just subtlety the Bowmasters. Take two, rats, go. Maybe I should have prioritized blocking that construct, because that's gonna help them go a little too wide for my tastes. Unholy Heat, sure. Saga gets ticked up, hate to see it. OG Tomb, we shotgun that into play. So they're almost certainly just attacking and passing. If they're real witty, they'll attack and activate the Saga. There it is, I'll take three. I'm on like a two turn clock, ouch. Come on, game two, show me Blood Moon. Yeah, looking back at this game, I should have prioritized blocking that construct earlier and just trying to go deeper into the long game. Take a draw, expressive, I mean, I'll play it. Burst Lightning, hmm. I think I'll take Burst Lightning into my hand. I think I will. Hmm. If my opponent's really witty, they won't block. So maybe I dash the Ragavan? Yeah, I think I'm gonna dash this Ragavan. Let's bottom the Sleep Curse Fairy, exile the rags. Let's dash it. Red, blue, dash. I think I'm gonna hang back with this Snapcaster Mage so I can block and not die. But I wanna see if my opponent bites here. Because if they think I might have Bolt, and they block with the Construct, and then I bolt their other Construct, they, uh, they lose both Constructs, which is, like, really good, and I hope they think I have that. Ah, uh, they don't. They're smart. All right, they take a block, so we can at least Burst Lightning this one. All right, red, Burst Lightning, kill, and then pass. On Holy Heat Snappy, no. Ironically, what we really wanted them to do was block there, so I could kill one of their Constructs. But if they hadn't, they'd actually kill us right now. But as it stands, we've got another turn. Now, even with that other turn, I don't see I was coming back from this, but we're going to see what we take for our draw step. Mistress Bobble, got a couple 4-4s, four sure. Go to combat, schmack me for four. I think soon I'm going to do a Jun Saga League. I really like this deck. It's a little bit away from what I'm used to playing, but I think this deck is like, it's definitely not the, one of the more powerful decks in the format, but it's super fun. Is this where my opponent just bolts me and I cry? Bobble me, sure. I think that Bobble may have been more valuable in play, to be honest. Give those Constructs a bit more power toughness. Island. Yeah, we can't win. All right, let's go to the next game. I think I know some cards I want. Um, let's see here. A Null? No. Flusterstorm? No. Stern Scolding? Does Stern Scolding counter Tarmogoyf? I don't think so. Does it have its power when it's not in play? It's power and toughness. They're doing Bowmasters. I know that. Hmm. Before we even get into that, we know we want Blood Moon, Blood Moon, and Magus of the Moon, and probably this Ragavan. We don't want Flusterstorm or a Null. There's a chance we want this. We'll find out. We don't want EE -E or Stone, I don't think. Um, the Stone could exile Saga, so their Red and Six can't do its thing, but I think we're going to try to rely on Blood Moon effects for that. I think Fury might be a little bit clunky. Stern Scolding's a maybe. I think we definitely want these four. Maybe we want the Stern Scoldings. I could see Explosives on Zero being reasonable to, like, maybe decide in one of them, just as, like, an emergency out to uh, them going wide with Constructs. I could see that being reasonable. I think Spell Pierce is like not that good against this deck. It's fine. It can counter Ren and Six and stuff, but I think it's just a little bit too narrow. We're going to take out the Spell Pierces. I love Spell Snare. I think we'll trim Burst Lightning. What else is there to trim? We're not going to cut Sleep Curse Fairy. I like my Spell Snare. I think Bolts are fine. Ragavans are pretty good. Snapcasters are fine. Spell Stutter Sprites. They're reasonable. I think we're going to keep them just because we're definitely trying to do Flame of Anor shenanigans. Maybe we can cut one of those. Um, yeah, let's cut Burst Lightning. One, two of those, and then what? Maybe just like one Spell Stutter Sprite and bring these in? I could see that being a thing. Let's try this. These come out, these come in. Ignore these Stern Scoldings for now. 
Submit. All right, I would love to play first. Beep. Well, this hand has uh, one land, but I've got three one drop, four one drops if you could count the bolt. And the second we draw a land, the iteration gets us where we want to go. And we can just lead on the Ragavan to nut check whether they have the removal or not. And if they do, we can just like do another Ragavan. We're keeping. I'm going to keep this based on the power of Ragavan. And if they don't have the answer for Ragavan, it's like real bad for them. All right, shock in steam vents, play tap for red, play Ragavan. Figure this out first. Their deck has like on holy heat, fatal push, maybe bolt. So they've got ways to deal with it, but we'll see if they have it. Blood crypt, shock, deal with Ragavan. Are oh, you going to play your own? Do nothing. You should probably kill my Ragavan now to play around spell pierce now. Or do you want to wait to do it so I can't like legend rule it? Fatal push, sure. Dead Ragavan, my turn. Come on, land. I want to dash this one. Rats. All right, we're playing another Ragavan. That way, if they play Ren and Six, I can subtlety it. All right, Ragavan number two, go. Verdant Catacombs, are we going for it? I can subtlety both Bowmasters and Ren and Six. So as long as they don't terminate or something, we might be able to cross the bridge with this Ragavan. Overgrown Tomb. We shocking? We zip zapping that into play? We are. Orcish Bowmaster? Shame. Subtlety cast by exiling, unfortunately, the Sleep Cursed Fairy. You can try that again next turn, but I would put it on the bottom so I don't just cast your own Bowmasters. Beat. Subtlety? Most underrated elemental by a mile. I think this is one of the best elementals. I have had such a good time playing Subtlety in like every deck. They put it on top. Oh, I'm going to exile it with my Ragavan. You better hope I don't draw land. Uh, untap. Draw. Another Counterspell. Unfortunately, we're not casting Bowmasters. We're just going to hold up Counterspell. So we're going to combat and try to run the train on our opponent with just a Ragavan and a land. All right, hit you for two. Exile your Bowmaster. I could cast it. That is a thing I could do. I'd rather just hold up Counterspell, though. Pass. Play land. Tap for black. And Thought Seize Me. I have two Counterspells. You can have one of them. At this point in their spot, I might even just take the Iteration and try to burn me out of my Counterspells. They take Bolt. Weird. Haywire Might. What if I just counter that? Then they can, what, deal with my Ragavan? But if we don't do it that way, I just attack in a Haywire Might and hold up Counterspell for the rest of the game. We're going for it. Blue, blue, Counterspell the Might. Sure, you got my Ragavan. You're, we're both down to two, but they have lands. So here's to hoping we draw a land. Blood Moon? Not quite. All right, F6. We're playing the Patiently Wait game for our opponent to put a reasonable spell on the stack and be loose. Land, tap for green, black, black, Grist? No, by Gigantha. I forgot they had that. All right. Land, off the top, come on, come on, deck. You've been flooding out all day. Let's do it again. This game fucking sucks. All right, F6. Being good or bad at magic is um, really just flooding out at the proper times. I flood out when it's a bad idea, and then I don't draw lands when I need them. I did keep the one lander, so this isn't complaining so much yet as it is just venting for my own uh, insanity. A lot of the people in my Discord from Patreon would be like, oh yeah, dude, keep the one lander every time. And I think it may have been correct to keep the one lander there, to be honest. But our opponent's hand developed very well. Jeggy, they're going to kill me with their companion. Yep, you got it. F6. We do have ways to kill Jagatha, namely Flame of Anor, but we're lots of mana away from that. A subtlety. Right click. Concede. Let's try to 3-2 the league. <laughs> oh, that was, that was brutal. Hate to see it. Still, I am enjoying this deck. I think this might be like the first deck I do a back-to-back -back, like quickly. So if you guys are enjoying this build, um, do a little typey type in the comments and let me know because if enough of you are enjoying this deck I will run it back very soon because I actually like it a lot so far we're 2-2 two, two. let's try to go 3-2 all right can't win them all round five uh, lost the die roll I'm not going to complain about this one because I've won every single die roll up to this point so my losses have been exactly skill issues this hand has just so many good cards in it but I can't beat a fast start my hand is like set up to play against any number of mid-range decks, but our opponent didn't reveal a companion. I think I need to keep a hand with some cheaper interaction, so we'll take a mulligan. This hand's like uh, worse and better. We've got a counter spell, so if our opponent doesn't open on anything super strong, we have a chance. We're going to keep it. We're going to pitch a delta, and we're going to hope we don't just get Ragavan out of the game right now. Black Cleave Cliffs, are we getting scammed? We're getting Ragavan out of the game. Come on, Burst Lightning or Lightning Bolt, show it to me. Yes, yes, I'm insane at this game. All right, fetch, shock, red, get the hell out of here, Ragavan. All right, go. Blood Crypt, who's shocking? Nope, tap Blood Crypt. We scamming. We're, it looks like we're scamming. I have to have six. I don't have any action. I don't have a subtlety or anything. So they're probably going to take Flame of Anor plus Counterspell, but we have a lot of outs to grief still. Um, namely, other Flame of Anors or Bolt, Snapcaster. All right, there goes the flame. They probably take the counterspell next. Comes back with a wicked roll. Nab my counterspell if you know it's good for you. All right, cool. My turn. We got a few draws to try to sort this out. 
Flame of Anor, good start. We'll play Flooded Strand. That way if they want to Blood Moon us, we can go get an Island. And uh, we might even just flash in this Spell Stutter Sprite at the end step just to like set up Flame, Flame of Anor, having both modes. We can't really afford to play around Bowmasters at this point. Mulligan to six into get lucky, kill the Ragavan into Grief Scam, pretty rough. All right, we'll take four. Ouch, my tummy. All right, fetch for Island. I think I'm going for it. I think I'm gonna fetch for an Island, jam Spell Stutter Sprite, see if they've got the thing. Boom, boom, Spell Stutter Sprite. If they kill it, so be it. But I'm hoping that they kept their hand based on the scam and they can't just beat it up. They're fetching now, I wonder what that means. Swamp, sure. Bows, Bowmaster. Terminate, great, sure. They just terminated a spell stutter sprayed. I'm into it. All right, subtlety, not the worst. I need that grief out of play. Hmm. Let's just do it now. Give them the least amount of chances to reanimate it with a, you are already dead or a feign death. Kill grief, please don't do it. On dying evil, you gotta be kidding me. They have it at six. We're both at zero. Ban something from scam. End this deck. We're getting so bored of dealing with this. All right, I'm F6ing. We've still got like Snapcaster, Bolt, and Flame of Anor all as hot top decks. They've got the clock though, so we'll see what happens. Ottawara, we're gonna hold the Ottawara just cause if we draw a land, we can bounce the Grief to try to buy ourselves one more turn. All right, go to combat, short. Attack for four. You got the Bolt, asshole. You're gonna Bolt me? Come on, piss fingers. Thoughtseize, miss, you miss. Do you have the Bolt? Bet you don't. Yeah, fuck you. All right, what do we draw? Ragavan? Ew. Well, if they have the kill spell, I'm just dead. Do we dash this Ragavan and just hope? Because that Grief sure does have menace. Yeah, here we go. Dash Ragavan, go to combat, try to hit a bolt off our opponent's deck. Fingies crossed. Come on, Ragavan, show me something good. Orcish Bowmasters? It blocks Grief. <laughs> it blocks Grief. Blue, Orcish, hit you in the face. And then my turn, or your turn, rather. All right, we're dead to Fatal Push. Bolt, Fury plus Pitch Card, Terminate, Bowmaster. Dashed, Ragavan doesn't quite do it. Ugh, they attack with both. I have to double block the Grief to stay alive. Block, block, damage. Ragavan triggers, what do you get? Nothing, it's a Spire Bluff Canal, great. You get the Ragavan back. My turn, Breast of Iteration. I guess we're casting that. Expressive, Subtlety plus two lands. Mmm, concede. All right, let's see what we got for Scam. We've played against it once, so I think I have a good idea of what we want. We want Stern Scolding, yes, yes. On the play, I think Ragavan's not great. We're getting bow mastered. Um, stone, great. Is that all I brought in? No engineered explosives. I can see Fury being reasonable, something like that. On the play, I don't think I can cut all my Ragavans. Let's cut both spell pierces. Let's cut and Ragavan. Do we still want to have some Ragavans to open on? We'll cut one on the play. I think last time we did this, we were on the draw for the first game. Spell Stutter Sprite seems like it's going to get beat up pretty good. Maybe Burst Lightning's weaker on the draw. Cut one. I don't really want to cut two. I still need to be able to kill their Ragavans and Dolphy Voidwalkers. <sighs> Maybe we'll just bring in one Fury. Yeah, something like this. Something like this. Add these. Hit Submit. Why, yes, I would love to take the play. Hmm. Lorien Revealed plus Island. We're not insulated from a scam here, but our mana's good. I think we're gonna keep this. We can island cycle for the steam vents. We can hold up spell snare, uh, not for the first turn. For the first turn, we're kind of just gonna have to deal with whatever they play. But after that, we can use Lorian and Revealed and get into our expressive iterations, which are just very good against scam. There's a chance I could have gone for a better six, but I don't hate this. They mold a six, love to see it. All right, island F6. Black Cleave Cliffs, pitch cast fury. They're going for all of it. You got it, dude. All right, Undying Evil to Fury, that happens. I have no recourse for any of that. Hopefully we can find a way to deal with this. I didn't even think they would go for something as bold as the pitch cast Fury, since it gets so blown out by subtlety. Maybe they had two red pitch cards. Um, Island Cycle the Lorien revealed, grab Steam Vents, go to my turn. I'm on a three turn clock, which I don't fucking love for myself at all. But Flame of Anor can deal with the Fury. Stone is just late. That's the latest stone I've ever drawn in my life. Um, I think that I want to hold up Counterspell. It's unfortunate. We'll shock in Steam Vents and just pass. We're gonna take. We're gonna. We're gonna go to ten. We need to try to draw uh, either the one of Fury that we brought in. That would be helpful. Tap land, sure, or a um, Flame of Anor. They attack for eight. We'll take eight. Looks like they're not gonna play into the board at all, which is smart. I think this game player is a little bit smarter than the last one we played against. Uh, draw Polluted Delta. That is a land. I think we have to take the iteration now. Try to find our Fury or something. Bolt, Bolt. Hmm, well that's unfortunate. Um, I guess we could take Bolt into our hand and exile the Spire Bluff Canal. Bolt goes to hand, Bolt goes bottom, exile the Spire Bluff, play the Spire Bluff. 
do we now need to get the stone into play or do we want to hold up spell snare? I think we'll hold up snare. We might just be dead here. I gotta be honest, when I kept this hand, Fury Scam wasn't even on my radar. All right, attack me. Put me out of my misery. Are you gonna bolt me too? Ugh, ouch. Land two, three, fable, ew. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, we're just, uh, we're dead. We'll see if we draw Fury here, because if we draw Fury, there's actually a line that pulls us out from this spot, but not super hopeful. Steam vents, we could express if it, no. No, I guess we could expressive into a creature, like a Ragavan, and then, no, because we need three red. Red from expressive, red for the bolt, red for the creature, and I can't shock. The thought is expressive, get a Ragavan, play it as a blocker, bolt the Goblin Shaman, hope they don't have removal, take a block, maybe draw on the flame, kill the fury, try to take over the game by holding up multiple counter spells until I draw onto like something reasonable. But no, I don't think this is it. We're gonna take a concession and have a sad two, three. That's miserable. I was really hoping to get the three, two at least on my first run with this deck. But all things considered, this deck is really sweet. Um, I think I'm gonna, what I'm probably gonna do tonight after getting this video out is play a, like a league or two with this deck off camera just to get some reps. Cause this seems like a deck cool enough to maybe build in paper. I like it a lot. Don't, uh, don't take the two, three record as a representation of the power level of the deck. I think it's quite good. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will see you next time.